Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Warframe action and today we are going to do the Super Ultra Mega Chocolate Fudge Coated Ultra Mega, repeating my words, Super Focus Farm. So the Super Focus Farm is, if you ever find yourself with Sortie 1 or maybe even Sortie 2 Eximus Defense of any kind, then this is the Ultra Mega Farm. Uh, okay. Go day mode. Use your three. So we we have a guy who's playing Equinox who doesn't seem to have his understanding of Equinox, which is unfortunate. But that's fine. Do you have? Oh, I don't remember what it's called. First and foremost, I need energy. More energy, more energy, more energy, more energy. Yes, thank you. There we go, let's go. So, there is a particular mod. It's, it's to do with this three, so it's not rest and rage. It's... Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, so... I'm playing a less, I think it's 100, yeah, it's 135% efficiency, 95% uh, duration, so my energy is going down a little faster than usual. But that's fine, I also have a 190% range and 165% power strength. I was, hope I was hoping to get a Rhino out of this, but that's fine. Now I have energy and I need to kill that last guy really quickly. Do I need one offering? I don't understand what that means. But don't matter. So the focus farm is pretty easy. Grab a convergence orb. We're sitting in an Eximus defense sortie. So just find a place. Press 4. Sit back. And enjoy the ride. And uh, yeah. The team comp is pretty simple. Have a Trinity who can provide energy. So EV Trinity. Have a Nova. Preferably fast bar. So that they can just run in and they get... They always take twice as much damage as per usual, and an Equinox is supposed to be the uh, the buff, as per se. A super high power Rhino would be better, but that's fine. Um, as you just saw there, I've got about 20,000 um, focus just out of that. And that was like 20 seconds worth. Oh, damn. Goddamn shield, man. That goddamn shield. <sighs> Alright. Into the next one. Oh, so that's actually good timing that we got to the next one because. Convergence orb, Convergence orb just showed up. Hopefully I can get some energy. EV! Are you doing anything? Thank you. And now I just sit in the middle. I could probably just sit in the middle. Like even though the um, the operator, the operative, sorry, is sort of running around, I could just sit in the middle. It won't really make a difference. If this was on Hydron, like if this was a Hydron map, and we got Eximus Defense, I probably th this would probably be even easier because the Hydron map is really small and that's like really good. Again, 21,000, and I haven't really done anything, per se. Oh, one thing I should probably do is uh, use my operator. 
run around a little bit. Not that it really matters, but the operator will automatically mean that I have- Ooh! Oh, that's right. So, Void Strike got a buff. It got- well, not a buff, it got fixed. So that staying in Void Mode automatically- like, jumping out of Void Mode and then jumping back into Void Mode, that won't gimp the- like, that won't reset the, uh, the, the damage multiplier. So, I'm gonna try and use that. I'm not sure if that applies to the whole, um, Soundquake. If it does, that would be great. If it doesn't, that's fine. That's no problem. Wait, where's the converted sword? Alright, so the damage multiplier is still there. Which means it doesn't affect sound quite? I'm not so sure. Although, judging by the numbers that are showing up, maybe it does. Right, so... Anyway. I think I'm actually- I think I used my sound quite, quite right at the start. So, yeah. How much focus are you guys getting? Everyone should be getting like upwards of 10,000, 20,000 per convergence orb, in fact. Almost 20,000 again. There we go. Yeah, look at that. So the goal for me is to try and get to a hundred, is to try to get to a million Vazarin, which shouldn't be terribly difficult. Um, but yeah. I am, of course, using an Eidolon lens, which will make a difference between my numbers and their numbers. They might just be using greater lenses. Uh, so yeah, definitely want to keep that in mind. But yeah, this is the Super Duper Focus Bomb. Just treat it as a bigger, buffer, meaner, greener version of Hydron. What's left? The only thing is maybe on this map there's always something that's left. Just don't know where it is. Mostly that. Uh yeah, who's where wait. Is everyone dead? No. Nope. nope, I'm seeing a zero. So for whatever reason, Arsene and Eximus seem to like Ooh. Excellent. Now let's go grab the Convergence Orb. I think they changed Convergence Orbs in some manner. I'll need to bring up the patch notes to have a look. So let's bring up the patch notes. Uh, oops, here they are. Uh, let's see, Focus 2.5, Shared Pool Capacity, Convergence Orbs. The Convergence Orbs. No cost, first things first. Convergence. Nope. Nothing to do with the convergence orbs. Okay, well, I didn't realize that nothing happened to the convergence orbs. I thought something did. They do seem to be a bit more stable right now. Uh, if you notice that, like, I'm not finding myself in situations where I'm running towards a convergence orb and then it just disappears. So at least I'm not coming across that problem. That's good. That makes that makes this whole farm even more efficient. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Don't let it bleed out. Oh my god, those goddamn Arson Eximus! Well, at least I got my focus, so we'll try it again. But, well, I'll do that later, because that's basically the video. It's essentially that. Jump in with the Banshee, a high-power Banshee, have a team that'll support the Banshee, 
and make sure to get your convergence orb and you'll just be getting like 20,000, almost 20,000 um, focus with every convergence orb. So, hope you guys enjoy this otherwise spectacular failure. Like the video, if you like the video, share it with everyone, to, to spread the news of, or not spread the news, spread the information about the uh, Super Ultra Focus Farm, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!